take a moment to apologize for the lack of footage that I have for this video. Unfortunately, a lot of it that I filmed in California uh, was on my phone and it got stolen. So yeah, I'm going to try my best to cover everything. At least I hope I did. <laughs> Fruit. Spinach, treats. And a mess. Don't show my feet. You can't see your feet. So for my snack that I want to take, can it be you? Oh, thank you. That's good. I'll thank that card. Passion. Damn. Write that down. Hello. It's currently 1 a.m. and I'm making sandwiches for my day trip tomorrow. So I personally like to make the food in advance. That way I don't run into moments of having to buy food, especially in California. Everything is so much more expensive. And you know, that way I can budget myself and reduce more waste if possible. So I have my gluten-free bread. It is in plastic, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna make that with some tempeh, spinach, and then I have the mayonnaise that I can apply to the sandwiches when I get to the beach. Okay, so I actually have two different cups, both with straws. I have a napkin in this one. As for utensils, I have two camping sporks and then I have this, like the fruit or something on the beach. And then I have some extra like cloth napkins in there. We had to stop at Walmart to get a jug of water because we had this fancy cooler thing with a little dispenser and we woke up this morning to it completely leaked on the table and so something happened like there's a crack in it I don't know but basically we had to go get like a little one gallon jug of water it did come in plastic so these are the little, the, what is this? And I have extra napkins and all the utensils in here and I tend to keep everything in bags like this because it's, uh, you know, easier. And there's so many coming. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have extra cups. Uh, a couple cloth bags or like tote bags in case you have to go grocery shopping or something. In this case, I'm probably gonna use one of them for like the beach stuff. But other than that, I'll leave this in the car. And this is what we need to eat food. Char snacks. <laughs> our our mayo-y water. <laughs> our uh, mayo exploded in our um, cooler, so it's like mixed with water. It's delicious. So now we're going to your bedroom. Don't you think we're moving too soon? I love to hear you when you complain. Where are we going? Where are we going? The wet noodle. Bernie. All thrifted, my friends. Ooh. Except for that. Memorize in my heart. 
plastic. Kevin, is that plastic? Is that plastic hey. for my plastic free vlog? The turtles appreciate it. This is how you the vegan. He got almond milk. I'm surprised. That's good. As there's as there's a water bottle in the background. <laughs> Donuts. You guys are already done. Was it good? Was the goods good? Mm -hmm. uh, guys, we went to the goods donut shop. It was really f***ing good. One of the workers there, her name is Josie. She was amazing. She made me vegan donuts because I didn't have any more. And she gave me all these amazing suggestions and she was just super freaking nice. Highly recommend going there and checking out Josie and her awesome worth ethic. I have a shot from this very step, actually. I couldn't this have been yesterday. We went to a bookstore called Books Without Batteries. I've been there before. The owner is super nice. I just don't want to film in there because it's kind of awkward. But show us your your gently used book. The Complete History of How Soccer Shaped Latin America. Wow. <laughs> Wait, do you do you play soccer? Of course. I play soccer. <laughs> wow. Otherwise, I wouldn't be buying a book on soccer. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, let's talk about sunblock. Yay. So my plastic free options of sunblock are from raw oh, shit. My plastic free options for sunblock are from raw elements. This is the tinted face one. This is the regular face and body one. It's very creamy and dreamy. This is honestly really great for beach options, but in my opinion, every day, way too expensive. No offense wrong elements but I know that they make all their stuff themselves and it's good ingredients to me sunblock is a medical item so you should never jeopardize your health or any medical reason for a plastic free option so by all means if plastic sunblock works in your budget then use it so this is the one that I currently have is kiss my face and I'm just trying to use it up I've also <laughs> I also have this one too these are just ones that we were using yesterday at the beach. Yeah, like my mom sent me with all kinds of <laughs> tanning stuff. She's like, please use this up at the beach. Oh, I guess I should show this too. Raw Element sent this to me. They have chopstick versions too. I literally have sand all over my hands. And everything lives in this really old Ziploc bag that I've had for years. And it's still good as new. You know? And this is what we take to the beach for sunblock. So don't feel bad if you don't have a plastic free option. Right guys? Mm. <laughs> so yesterday the beach was very gloomy and we were like, oh, we're gonna try again tomorrow morning. But we didn't really feel like going to the beach again. And it's sunny, of course. So this cup here, this cup is by Clean Canteen. It's very lightweight. It comes with a straw too. The lid is really easy to remove. This is a really good thing to use for leftovers. If you're at a restaurant, you don't want to use the leftover container. I know it's not like an ideal container, but put your lef leftovers in there. And it's stainless steel, so it kind of keeps it warmer than longer. Are you okay? video with a quick tip on everyday practices for sustainability and like avoiding waste and stuff and that is to have a car kit I like to call it this could be like a backpack kit whatever you have that you generally carry what that means is just having something that holds all of the different items that you think you'll use and I think in an earlier clip you guys will see that I have a cup 
with a little napkin and a spork. That cup also has the straw in it. Generally like my quick go-to to avoid waste. As for my car kit, I do hold an extra like cloth napkin thing. I have some sunblock that I'm using up that I decided to include in it so that I can just go through that sunblock. One of these, which is like a little sport. And lastly, a cup with a straw. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this cup can serve as a double purpose for drinks, but also leftovers. I think later on I will add a to-go container, so I always have one in my car, but right now I just don't have one of those. But yeah, that would just all go into like a little bag. I could put this in my center council, I could put it in my back seat put it in my trunk, wherever you want. You always have something which is great, so if you're ever stuck anywhere and you're like, oh my gosh, I want a latte, let me go get my cup that's in my car. I hope this video taught you a lot regardless of losing half my footage. But anyways, I will see you guys next time.